Hi, welcome back to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed and in this video, we're talking about the latest community coming up by the Mac called Sun City. So right now, you can see I'm standing in gorgeous Miraz Cherry Woods. This was basically Miraz's master plan community called Cherry Woods. As you can see, it's a ready community. We have a lot of townhouses over here right now. Currently, the four beds are priced at around 4.2, which is a massive price. And you can really tell that, you know, the new community that's coming up over there, the average prices are going to be around 3.6 and 2.7 for the four beds and the five beds so this is just a sample of how the community is Miraz is Cherrywood and the Mac Sun City is going to be right next to this we're gonna go over the map and a bit of details right now I just want to show you how this you know beautiful community is and we can expect even more from the Mac you know bringing up their amenities their design ethos you know Miraz did an excellent job over here and we can expect the Mac to come up and you know utilize this location and obviously bring their amenities, you know, their world-class uh, design ethos, along with excellent payment plan, excellent location. Again, all the fundamentals, they make sense. So let's go to the presentation. We'll get deep into the, basically all the details and then we'll take it on from there. Okay, so over here, you can basically see a map of where the Max latest uh, townhouse community is coming, Sun City. Uh, they have highlighted it over here. You can see this right here. In the future, there will be basically Dubai Islands coming. And this is Mirage's very famous cherry woods and this is where we made the uh, videos intro as well when we were standing in the park so that is where the location is now we can see it is an excellent location uh, as they have highlighted over here we have Hessa street we have Kudra, uh you know street and then we're along with uh, Emirates road and of course Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed road as well and in the middle we have Sheikh Mohammed so excellent connectivity all these main roads are surrounding you uh, of course, we have Nashama's very famous Town Square, Miraz's Reem, Miro Races, Dubai Properties, Mudan, Arabian Ranch is one, Arabian Ranch is two, Tabak Hills one. So you can see this is, uh, you know, a prime area for basically the suburbs, right? And of course, we have Miraz's famous Acres, Athlon, uh, you know, over here, you even have villas, you know, reaching, you know, uh, 20 million, 25 million, all the way starting from townhouses all the way up to that. So this is definitely... Uh, an area that is very suburban and you can see this entire area is empty and this is where the future growth is and this is what Damak is trying to tap. Uh, you can see this entire area obviously in the future there will be many more developments coming up uh, as well. Not to mention you know, over here this entire line in the middle this dotted line that you can see this is going to be the Dahat Rail. So uh, you know it is also close to that as well. Now this community is going to have two entrances basically right now uh, it is coming from Kudra Road. There's a roundabout here. You come back and then you can get into Cherry Woods and get into uh, basically Sun City by Tamak. Or you can also in the future use the Emirates Road entrance as well. Now, this is excellent connectivity. You have two areas. Again, on this side, we have, you know, the Sheikh Maktoum Airport coming up. Uh, this side is obviously the Dubai International uh, Airport. And if you go along, you know, Emirates Road, you can easily connect with uh, Al Ain Highway over here and then it's you know like 20-25 minutes uh, road to downtown so excellent you know connectivity again we have the hot rail uh, we have pink line and we to town square that will be coming up in the future we have blue line coming these are all metro areas so excellent connectivity again yellow line and of course we're connected to all the major roads now let's look at the top view of the community and discuss a bit more from them. now this is a top view uh, of basically the community that's coming up the max sun city as i mentioned in the video it has basically 749 units we're looking at 2.7 million uh, square feet basically of land area uh, and it's very well laid out now the Mac everyone knows obviously so this is basically where the entrance is uh, coming from of course this is the main entrance to the community you have you know your town hall your mosque all these kind of things uh, outlined over here and then in the middle uh, this is basically what was missing from Miraz's cherry wood as well so this is basically what was missing from Miraz's cherry wood as you can see excellent uh, you know area in the middle we have swimming pools uh, over here you know kids swimming pool adult swimming pool we have tennis courts over here again another smaller community for the townhouses on that side and this is really what Damak is known for right they have excellent community amenities you can look at the Hills one you can look at the Hills two obviously the mac lagoons with their famous you know crystal lagoons was basically brought to dubai by the uh, mac as well so a pioneer of you know amenities and community style living 
and very uh, you know excellently located as you can see over here and again we have uh, 749 the middle of course most of them will be four bedrooms and then the corner ones as you can see are g plus two that is why they are a bit taller and those are all going to be five beds so not a lot of units massive amount of space this project is definitely you know going to be oversubscribed by a lot obviously these kind of lunches damak is looking anywhere from two to three thousand checks already with only 749 units and this is you know really what it's all about people are really especially after covid all these things they prefer to stay in you know community style living rather than you know just stuck being in an apartment where basically you don't have a lot of amenities maybe you know you're locked up basically whereas you know in a community townhouse community you have your you have your nice backyard you can do a barbecue you know your kids can play around there's obviously schools close by hospitals close by so it's all about the lifestyle as we keep talking about on this channel the lifestyle is uh, you know what you need to buy and this really gives you that opportunity especially along with the excellent pricing and the payment plan compared to other developers. Now let's get back to the video and we'll discuss more on the presentation. Now that we saw basically an in-person view of how the community looks right now in Cherry Woods and what there is to come and we have understood where the location of that community is, let's go to the presentation and let's basically understand more of the nitty gritty details, right? So over here, everyone, you know, keeps talking about should we get townhouses, should we get apartments? And I always try to explain to people that look, townhouses and apartments are very short in supply. And one of the main reasons for that, right, is that apartments are much more easier to build. Meaning by that, even though they might be more technically complex and engineering obviously needs a lot, the thing is it takes less time. You have one single plot, all, you know, the majority of the time goes in the foundation. And then literally, you know, these developers, especially with their experience, can literally add and floor every week or two. That's not that difficult. And then obviously the fixtures and fittings, they take the time. The thing with townhouses, and villas is that even though they may be more technologically or engineeringly you know uh, simple the problem is the area wide span is very very large the logistics of having all these details completed uh, you know in hundreds and hundreds of units spread across massive amounts of area is very challenging and as i always like to say in this channel we really can't print houses and until the day we do demand and supply is going to be very very technical because each one of these projects, each one of these phases takes at least two to three years for completion until it actually gets, you know, handed over to the end consumer or to the investors who like to rent it out, sell it out. So until that fact is true that we can't print houses, there will always be an opportunity in off plan. And this project is one of those prime examples, right? Because if you look at uh, Mirage Cherrywood, as we saw where we were standing right now, three beds over there are around three, 3.1 right now. The four beds are at around four point, uh, you know, 4.3 whereas in the back which is going to be a bit you know larger than the Mirage Terry Woods and it's going to have much more amenities we're getting it at a very very low price compared to what Cherry Woods is right now so this is a prime example of how ready products in the market are much higher price and when you go buy something in off plan you lock in that price and then two three years down the line when the project is handed over we get massive amounts of capital receipt now we're going to get into the payment plan and the nitty-gritty details in a bit as I mentioned the supply and the sales of townhouses and the supply and demand basically the supply and the sales of townhouses are we're looking right now. You can see the supply of townhouses in 2019, 20, all the way up to the, you know, the first half of 2024. And then you can see the sales of townhouses in the primary and secondary, right? So you can see always the sales are much, much higher than, you know, how much supply there is, right? So these things, they, you know, really uh, play the balance of the supply and demand. Now over here, you can see fast four facts about Damak Sun City. As they have said, look, limited land available in Dubai land for master communities. Again, we discussed about that in our uh, location presentation, which you could get a better idea. Obviously, number two is connected to the major roads, which we also talked about. Number three, rental yield is fairly high because again, larger sizes, uh, better amenities. And then number four, of course, the price per square foot is excellent. Now over here, we can see the total number of units that's gonna be coming is going to be around 729. We're looking at a 2.7 square million square feet, you know, uh, community. Obviously this is a top down render. You can see in the middle, we have, uh, you know, excellent the Mac coming up with their, you know, uh, amenities uh, better than it was before. Now here are the four bed townhouses. Uh, you can of course, you know, feel free to pause the video to go in depth. This is basically the floor plan of the five bedroom townhouses. This will be in a G plus two configuration. Again, you can pause the screen, you know, go over it in more uh, detail, but you know, demand coming up with their uh, typical demand design ethos over there as well. Now, moving on to the amenities. Uh, amenities, again, demand, the they really come up with all these interesting amenities that these guys do have. So they have come up with four different styles of amenities. We have, you know, the, for the body, the skin, the mind, and the soul. Obviously, you can see, you know, for the body, they have forest hiking, monkey bar area, camping, jungle suspension bridge, 
and all the way through till the end of number four. You know, for the soul, we have a library, an amphitheater, a grand fountain. So all these things, again, the Mac known for its interesting and unique amenities. Over here, this is basically a small layout of where all the amenities will be located. Uh, again, look, these are the things why the Mac is really successful when it comes to as a you know family style living community. Now over here you can see the uh, front view of the townhouses. Again, these are quite larger and as we saw uh, when we were there live at Garage Cherry Woods, it's all about uh, rendering to reality, right? So that's one of the reasons I really went, uh, you know, to show you guys what is there. It's not just that, you know, these developers are showing renders and nothing's there. And you guys will see in the upcoming Dubai Hills Estate video as well, it's all about bringing the renders to reality. These developers, they don't just, you know, come up with these grand ideas and then when they deliver, it's, you know, crap quality. They actually deliver what they're talking about, the design ethos that they have, the things that they have. And that's why we went to Mirage to show you that, look, this is what they showed in the renders and they actually delivered. Except obviously that is an old project. Now they're going to have much more amenities. They're bringing up better sizes, better design, better all these things. Uh, and again, you know, just making the foundation much better than before. Learning from their mistakes and making it even better. This is obviously the back side uh, of the townhouses. As you can see, this is a fourplex. So we have, you know, the separated garden areas and backyards as well. Now, getting into the nitty gritty of it, we have four and five bedrooms, okay? As you guys can see, the four beds are 523 units and we have 226 units of five bed. The area is very decent, 2300 and 3300 respectively for the four and five beds. And the prices is what's, you know, obviously very, very important. Now, over here, as you can see, the four beds basically on average price, you should always understand that going for the minimum price is very unrealistic because obviously there are limited amount of units. As you can see over here, there's only around 700. 49 units and maybe there's like 3,000 checks in the back end. So you always want to go with something with an average price that those are basically the best units. It will be very difficult to, you know, secure. Obviously, if you're lucky enough, you can get something, but I would say always go with the average units. But look at the price difference. It is a massive price difference. We're looking at a four bedroom townhouse for 2.74 average. Now this same uh, townhouse for a three bed in Mirage Cherry Woods is around 3.2 right now. And then the five bed over here is at 3.85 average, whereas a four bed in Mirage Cherry Woods is around 4.2 million. So you can understand the amount of massive difference. And these are going to be better. They're going to be newer. They're going to have more amenities. So you can imagine that you know how much capital appreciation you can see right now. It is right in front of you. And that's why we went there physically to show you a live community and a live example of the difference between off plan that's coming right now to Max Sun City versus now here they have an excellent payment plan as well. We're looking at 75.25 and the Mac coming up with their, you know, iconic uh, monthly payment plan, 1% monthly payment plan. So it makes it very convenient uh, for most people, you know, if you're earning a salary or something like that, you can just directly deduct it rather than, you know, paying them big amounts as well. And one of the most important parts is that a launch day offer is that they're also having 4% DLD waiver. Now, this is something that is quite significant because when you buy a property in Dubai, you basically have three things to pay have the property price, the 4% DLD, and two to 3,000 dirhams for your title deed. The Mac coming up with their launch offer just for the launch day. Obviously, if you book it after the launch day, then you will be having to pay the 4% DLD, which is quite a decent sum amount. If you're looking at, you know, 2.75 and 3.85, 4% is massive amount of savings over there. So by default, you're getting like a nice discount from the Mac. Again, this is a launch day offer. So this was just a quick presentation on the Mac Sun City went live on the location in Mirage Cherry Wood to understand the community. We saw in the presentation where the location was. We obviously saw, went through the presentation, understanding, you know, how townhouses and villas are much better and more in demand than apartments, how they're more complex to deliver. Obviously that time gap and we compared Mirage Cherry Wood prices, which are ready now against, uh, you know, the, the Max Sun City that's coming up and how off plan really gives you that edge to, you know, make that difference, make that premium for you. Again, I always like to talk about the fundamentals in our videos. The fundamentals are rock solid in this project. We have the Mac tier one developer, one of the largest developers, uh, not just in Dubai, but in the entire Gulf region. They have projects, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of projects. There are, of course, golf courses, massive, you know, master plan community developer. Number two, the Mac Sun City, excellent location, close to Maras Cherry Woods, loads of amenities. What more can you need from a community? Now we have number three, the price, excellent pricing. As we compared Mirage Cherry Woods, you guys saw the price difference, massive amount of price difference. And then number four, obviously the payment plan, 75.25 in this day and age for, you know, other developers are much less convenient than this, you know, monthly payment plan, the max signature monthly payment plan. 
you really can't go wrong with this project. The Mac works on EOI basis, which means expression of interest. So the EOI stage has already started. If you are living in Dubai, we have to give him a check. If you are living outside of Dubai, you can pay the Mac in their corporate account and basically submit your passport copy with us. They will assign us a token number. And then on the launch day, which will be coming very, very soon, maybe in a couple of weeks time, they will basically be having the launch and then we'll be able to book it. Now, I always like to mention in my videos, I do work with Yaman and Trissel. We are one of the top 10 largest brokers in Dubai. We are number one actually in MR for 2023. And we are uh, number one in MR also for the first half of uh, 2024. We are very highly ranked in the Mac, Shoba, Ellington. Again, we do have a lot of priority. A lot of the times people, they go, they trust other agents and they're working with smaller companies. They might not have that leverage, uh, those connections that are needed to secure a nice unit and then they end up with a not a nice unit and sometimes worst case scenario, they don't get anything at all. So make sure you are going with a big broker who has a lot of connections that can uh, you know ensure to secure you a nice unit at the day of the launch. Obviously, uh, you know if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now. And you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my WhatsApp by scanning the QR code at the top right corner.